fishing. Why do you have that camera? Because I film myself fishing. So you should do that. Are those waterproof? Nope. They aren't? Nope. What happens if you flip over? Then I better be a good swimmer. You have fake gummy worms? Yeah, sour spaghetti. Can I have a piece of spaghetti? Can I take the money out? Yep, take as much as you want. I can't have that one now. I'm gonna take one more. Two more, actually. Okay. The sour ones are the best. Yeah, I like the sour ones, too. So I may or may not have almost fallen asleep on the way to fishing the spot, but basically there is nothing I like doing better than fishing. So although I am deathly tired right now, I still wanted to get out, film a video for you guys. So although I had to wait before launching my kayak today, there's actually two people waiting in line before me, I still think I'll be able to hook into a few fish today. Now, one guy went downstream, one guy went upstream, and he kind of disappeared. I have no idea where he is, so I'm assuming he went down there behind me. And that's where I kind of want to start off, actually. So I might be fishing behind a guy, but... Alright, so I only have a couple hours to fish today, about two hours. So I really think that I'm not really going to be wasting too much time in one spot. I'm really just going to be moving from spot to spot, kind of hopefully catching the active fish. And I packed pretty light today. I only brought two rods with me. I brought a jig and then I brought a wacky worm. And that is it. I might be able to catch a smallmouth, but for the most part, it is just basically going to be largemouth I'm targeting today. Now the uh, single I'm going to be using is from Gary Yamamoto. This is green pumpkin with purple and green fleck in it. And nothing too fancy today. Just going to be rigging it right through the middle. Now I'm kind of uh, lazy at the moment. So I'm not going to be using any O-rings. But let's just kind of start by tossing it over in that kind of backwater spot right there. See if I can squeeze down here. Jig is from Somatis Baits. Um, this is the jig that I picked up at the fishing expo not too long ago. We can drop our jig into any holes here. depth here and by a little bit of depth I mean um, like three or four feet okay, let's switch up from the worm to the jig Oh, 
Pretty good, you? Not bad, not bad. Have you caught anything yet? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, between the two of us, we probably caught, what, eight bass so far. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, we're having fun. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it just started back there, so I've got nothing so far. Well, I wish you luck, man. Yeah, thank you. And have a good one. Yeah, you too. Why not one mass cast? Man, I set the hook on this poor guy like he was a 10 pounder. <laughs> oh man. All right, so not a bad first fish. Let me uh, quickly uh, bump him real quick and then get the jig right back over the side. Not a bad 13 and a halfer right here. All right, I'm gonna switch over to the wacky worm for a little bit. Because, why not? There we go. On the wacky worm. I think it's a pickerel. It is a pickerel. Not a bad pickerel, but he has my uh, eight pound leader uh, so far down his mouth right now that I cannot do. I swear, if you break me off, thank you. Um, as soon as I caught it just from the way it was fighting but that is a really nice pickerel um, I say really nice but 23 and a half inches So off to my left here is that cove I'm talking about, but it, it looks very windy in there at the moment. So I'm not even entirely sure I'm going to go in there. I might just continue down the river here 
And uh, I might just actually end up fishing the river today because a lot of people know about this spot anyway, so I'm sure I'm not gonna be the only one that fished this on a Saturday anyway. There he was. Alright, so I changed my mind. I actually am gonna fish this cove. Alright, so we're gonna fish this cove, but we're also gonna do our best to uh, stay out of the wind. Nice. He might go 11. Not even going to uh, put him on the bump board. Pickerel. Don't snap me off. Nice. Cool. Didn't snap me off. But looks like he got attacked by another pickerel at some point. Oh my gosh, a crappie? Big ol' crappie. Not really what I am after. Alright, so that is it for this evening. And overall, had a pretty decent time I guess for the amount of time I was out here. Managed to hook into a couple bass, a couple pickerel, but just another cold day in New Hampshire. It only got up to about 55 degrees today. And this was the jig I was using. It's from Somatis Baits, and I actually picked that up at a fishing expo I went to earlier in the year. And overall, I liked it. I liked uh, how stiff that weed guard was. And as a trailer, I had a Gary Yamamoto Flappin' Hog, one of my favorite trailers. And then this rod here is what I use to catch the majority of my fish. This is my medium St. Croix Premier Rod. And I just have a wacky rig Senko on it. And this wacky rig Senko is from Gary Yamamoto as well. I need to hurry up and get the stuff in up here, get my truck and pack everything up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace. Well, this is the headlight I gotta put in. Okay, so. Just like you said, there's a clip 